Okay, so I'm back in our project, in our, in our guestbook project, and now we need to implement the greetings into the template. So we, are, we need to pass in these results, which is the fetch of our greetings from our data store, into our template. And the template needs to receive them in a dictionary, right? So this is why we needed to go over dictionaries. So let's go ahead and put these results into a dictionary. So we're going to say results dict for dictionary results and say greetings as the key and the value are going to be the results that we have fetched from the data store. So now we have a dictionary and we can go ahead and actually pass them to the template.render method. So we can go ahead and say results dictionary. So now we are passing in these results into our dictionary. Okay, great. So the next thing we need to do is we are going to go to our template, which in theory is already receiving our greetings and see if this is true. So I'm going to go ahead and put two curly braces and type in greetings. Now, what have I just done here? Like I said before, this is a template engine and it has its own syntax for doing certain things. If we want to print out something that we are passing into the, the actual template, some values that we are passing like we just have done, we need to type in these double curly braces. These double curly braces tell Jinja to print out something. And why did we write greetings? Well, we wrote greetings because it's the, the key of the data that we're passing into the dictionary. Okay, So we're going to print out to see what is in our greetings. Okay, So I'm going to go ahead and hit refresh. And we see, sure enough, we have our list of greetings here. So this is really great. I mean, we're receiving our greetings into our template. The next thing we need to do is just to format them like we did before so that it's more human readable. So again, we will need to access item by item using a for loop. And in Jinja, we can use a for loop by writing a single curly brace and a percent sign, which indicates Jinja that we are going to do some logic, right? We are going to do a if statement, we are going to do a for loop, so on and so forth. So printing is a double curly brace, brace and logic is a single curly brace and a percent sign. So now we can go ahead and say for, greeting in greetings because again the key is greetings and we can go ahead and close this off so a percent and a closing curly brace and say agree and now since we need to print something we are going to do the curly brace and say greeting dot timestamp dot stir f time and the format we want to put it in so this will be percent capital y dash percent m dash percent d space percent capital h colon percent m so this is year month day hour and minute okay so, and then let's just close off the for loop if we don't close it off Jinja will throw us an error. So let's say end for to close off the for loop. This is a difference in Python. We don't need to do this because Python by the indentation knows that we are closing the for loop. Jinja doesn't. So we need to specify we are ending the for loop. Okay. So let's go ahead and run this. And sure enough, we have all the dates. Okay. Formatted as we want them to. So Let's just add our break row tag just to, to have them in a separate row. Okay, great. And the next thing we can do is add the, the dash that's going to separate the name. So again, print out the greeting.name for the person who said something and then said, again, print out greeting.message. Okay, okay. Okay, great. So this is working. This is fantastic. We have successfully refactored our HTML and we have moved it into a template. So now hopefully you're seeing that this code is much cleaner. We don't have HTML here. Sure enough, we have code to load up the templates, load, uh, create our Jinja environment, so on and so forth. But in the future, we will also be moving this code out of the, the request handlers into another place. So our code will be even cleaner. 
but we're going to do this in the next project we will be starting after refactoring this one